Polling shows that Hillary Clinton is leading Bernie Sanders nearly two to one in next Saturday's primary in South Carolina. She won Nevada over the weekend by five points, putting her back on track after her drubbing in New Hampshire. Here's Nancy Cordes. Yes, that is former President Clinton bouncing for joy with campaign staffers in Nevada. After his wife stormed the Vegas Strip for two days and then won the state's most populous county by 10 points. Do you think Secretary Clinton just out hustled you a little bit at the end? No, I don't, as a matter of fact. We held three rallies the night before. No, look, I'm very proud of what we did. Still, the loss is a blow for Sanders, who is tied with Clinton in the delegate count until you factor in superdelegates, top party officials who are free to back either candidate. That gap will grow if Clinton prevails, as expected in South Carolina. In Texas this weekend, she accused Sanders of misleading voters about his plans. I don't think it's right to look a person in the eye who's hurting and needs help and tell them that if they vote for you, you will get $5,000 of health care but only have to pay $500 for it. Sanders stands by his math. That's not misleading. That's the fact. But as you know, there are some liberal economists no, who say that economists. there are... Check out who these liberal economists are, and you're going to find out who funds them. The economists are four former top White House advisors who sent an open letter to Sanders arguing that his, quote, extreme claims about the benefits of his proposals could undermine the credibility of the progressive economic agenda. None of them are paid by the Clinton campaign, though a couple did work for former President Bill Clinton. They say many economists share their concerns, but Sanders told us they didn't take the time to crunch the numbers themselves and that plenty of experts side with him, Scott. Nancy Cordes, thanks.